Hello world, my name is Feralio and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make custom advancements just like this one. So here we are on my desktop and the first thing you want to do is press Command and R. It will bring up this run box and you want to type percent app data percent slash dot Minecraft. Then press enter and it will open up a file window, file explorer, with all of your Minecraft files. You want to scroll down until you see saves, open that, then open the world you want to make your advancement on. Then you do not want to open this advancement folder, that just contains a JSON of the advancements that you've already completed. You want to open data, advancement, and there will be nothing in here. So the first thing you want to do is right click, new, folder. Name your folder whatever you want the advancement to be called. So for this tutorial, I'll just name it test, like that. Then we want to open up this folder, and we're going to create a new text document. We will rename it root.json, like this. Press enter, and it will ask you if you want to change the file extension, and you're going to hit yes. Then we're going to right click this and hopefully you've already installed Notepad++. I'll have it in the description of this video. And you want to open this folder with Notepad++. I'm going to do that. Okay, so now that you are in Notepad++, you're going to copy the text in the description and you're going to paste it right here. And it should look like this. First things first, we need to make an icon for our advancements page. So for my icon, I'm going to make it Minecraft colon command block like that you can make it any block in the game or item doesn't matter then the title of this advancement will once again be test the background I am going to use is going to be minecraft textures slash blocks slash obsidian Dot PNG. You can once again use any item or blocks. I haven't tested it with items. It probably will work because each item is a 16 by 16 PNG image, but it will probably look really weird. So then right here where it says crafting table, we're going to change this to have a custom name. For this file, I'm going to name it test once again. Now each file that you're going to have in this advancement folder is going to have to have a unique criteria name right here. Then for the trigger. So I've left a link to a Minecraft wiki page showing all the advancements in the game. And here it is right here. Now here you'll find everything that I've covered so far plus these triggers. Okay, so these are all the triggers that Minecraft has added so far. There will probably be more in the future and what these do is make it so that this advancement will be triggered once this action is done in Minecraft. So for example, one of the triggers could be breed animals. Therefore, this advancement will be made once the player breeds two animals. For this, I want it to be inventory changed, meaning that the player's inventory has been changed by a specific item. So we're going to go to trigger and then we're going to paste that. And now for conditions, we're going to press enter, press tab. And here we are going to once again go down into the Wikipedia page. And right here in condition, you will see all the different condition. If we head back up to this chart right here, as you can see Minecraft inventory changed has two conditions, items and slots. So we can go down here and find items, which is right here. So items is an item and you can do you can use count, data, enchantments, and levels, min max, item, potion. So we're gonna go items right here. From right here. Like that. And then we're gonna go colon space square bracket 
we're going to press enter, press enter again, and press enter again. And here we want the a curly bracket and another curly bracket right there. Then we're going to press tab once again, and we're going to go item. And this is where I get to specify the item that I want. So I want this advancement to be triggered when I get a command block in my inventory. So I'm going to do Minecraft command block. Now if I wanted, I could add how many command blocks I want, or the data value, or enchantments that the item has to have on it. Now we are currently using items, but you can also use item, it doesn't matter. Items is if you want a list of items, so I could continue listing off items that need to be met. Anyways, so now we're going to press Control and S to save this. And we're going to head back into the advancements right here. We're going to create, once again, a new text document. And this time, this text document is going to be named whatever you want. So for this example, I want it to be so that you get an advancement when you pick up some sponge. So I'm going to name it sponge.json. Press enter, press enter again, and then edit it with notepad++. Then we can go ahead and copy what we've done here or just paste the text from the uh, description. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it. And now for this, we can remove the background because we're not going to be using background anymore. That was just for our root file. But we are going to need to add, right before criteria, we're going to add something called a parent. So what a parent is, is that when a specific advancement has been made, this advancement will unlock. So for example, if I wanted to make it so that when the root advancement has been made, which once again, the root advancement is when you pick up a command block, I will change this to Minecraft and then the name of the file over here, which is test. It is case sensitive, by the way, so make sure you have the proper capitalization. Test slash and then the file. So for this, it's going to be root. Okay, so now that we are done with the parents, we can change the icon, which I said I wanted it to be sponge, so we're going to change it to sponge. And the title of this will be collect sponge, like that. Then we're going to keep the inventory change trigger, but this time the item is going to be sponge. So just like that. Okay, so now the final thing we need to do to make this work is change the criteria name. So for root, what we did was test, and now we'll just call it sponge. I made a mistake. Right here on the parent line, there is not supposed to be a space between the parent and the quotations. So if we remove that and we press save, we can now finally head into our Minecraft world. Okay, so now what we're going to do is do slash give, Spiralio, C-O-M-M, -M, press tab, and then enter. And it says advancement made. So if we go into advancements, you will see that there is test and collect sponge. So now if we do collect sponge, it will say advancement made, and we have gotten the advancement. There we go. So that is how you make custom advancements. If you have any questions or you would like to do more with this, please comment down below. There is a lot that you can do, so I'll leave the full entire wiki page down below. Anyways, I hope that this has been helpful. You should definitely try this out. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.